was. Oh, to think how entirely my future happiness is wrapped up in that one teeny tiny little parcel. Hardly seems worth it, really. Oh, matrimony! Why would you fly? Now then, what is it? I was soliloquizing. I was soliloquizing. You have interrupted a semicolon poo. What is it? I bring a letter from the m huh? from the big M, from the big cheese. What in the world could he have to say to me? I don't know. Read it. Oh, oh, oh thank goodness it's blank. Ah! Oh. His Majesty the Mikado. <laughs> oh! Was he? Oh, he wasn't. <gasps> His Majesty the Mikado. Oh! Oh! I'm not. I don't remember being. Don't I don't. Let go. Of yeah, but I don't know about the, the Mikado, and then. Stop! <laughs> Didn't have to look fast. Yeah. His Majesty the. is struck by the fact that no executions have taken place in Titi Poo for a year, and decrees that unless somebody is beheaded within one month, the post of Lord High Executioner shall be abolished. What? The post of Lord High Executioner shall be abolished, and the city reduced to the rank of a village. A, a village. village! A what? A village, idiot. Hey. Oh! oh! Forget you two. Not really, no. <laughs> if we were reduced to the rank of a village, then that would make us all the village people. I don't want to sing and dance in stupid costumes. Anyway, that would involve us in irretrievable ruin. Ruin? Ruin. There is no help for it. I shall have to execute somebody at once. The only question is, who? Shall it be? <laughs> yeah, suck it! Yeah, what? <laughs> Me? What are you talking about? Well, it does seem rather unkind to say so, but as you are already under sentence of death for flirting, everything seems to point to you. Don't be ridiculous. I can't execute myself. Why, Why not? not? Because uh, self-decapitation is an extremely difficult, not to say dangerous, thing to attempt. And secondly, it's suicide. And suicide is a capital offence. Well, unless you find a substitute. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Nothing easier. I appoint you Lord High Substitute. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, well, that would obviously realize my fondest dreams, but alas, at any cost, I must set bounds to my insatiable ambition. Take it away, Kevy. I am so proud, if I allowed my family pride to be my guide, I'd volunteer to quit this sphere instead of you in a minute or two. A family pride must be denied and set aside and mortified and mortified. My brain it teems with endless schemes, both good and new, for titty poo, for titty poo. But if I flit the benefit that I diffuse, the town would lose. Now every man to aid his clan must plot and plan as best he can. And so, although I wish to go, and greatly pine to brightly shine and take the light of a hero fine with grief condign, I must decline. And go and show a friend and foe how much you dare. I'm quite aware it's your affair, yet I declare I take your shell. I don't much care. I must so I object. 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 I must object. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock. In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. Awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. From a chippy, chippy chopper on a big black block. To sit in solemn silence in a dull, dark dock. In a pestilential prison with a lifelong lock. Awaiting the sensation of a short, sharp shock. From a chippy, chippy chopper on a big black block. A dull, dark dock. A lifelong lock. A short, sharp shock. A big black block. To sit in solemn silence in a pestilential prison. And awaiting the sensation of a chippy, chippy chopper on a big
Oh. Oh.